This is the Natural Safaris Audio Safari Articles. On this article, we look at the African elephant, which is the largest land animal on Earth. African elephants are the largest land animals on Earth. They are slightly larger than their Asian cousins and can be identified by their larger ears that look somewhat like the continent of Africa. They are native to a wide variety of habitats, including some deserts, uh, open savannas and dense forest regions. Their habitat ranges from sea level to 16,000 feet. Considered the largest living land animal weighs up to about uh, 6 ton or 6,000 kilogram. The African elephant inhabits usually the savanna, branch uh, forests, river valleys and semi-desert regions of African south of the uh, Sahara Desert. Besides, it's not a good one. This is a natural talk safari audio series, and on this article we look at the African elephant. African elephants are the largest large animals on Earth. They are slightly larger than their Asian cousins and can be identified by their larger ears that look somewhat like the continent of Africa. They are not native to a wide variety of habitats, including semi-desert uh, scrub, open savannas, and dense forest regions. Their habitat ranges from sea level to 16,000 feet, and they are considered the largest living land animal. The African elephants inhabit the also the various river uh, riverine uh, regions and semi-desert regions of Africa south of the Sahara Desert. Besides its greater size, it differs from the Asian elephant in having larger ears and tusks, a sloping forehead and two finger like at the top uh, at the tip of, it, of its trunk. Not good. This is a natural to safaris audio series and on this article we look at the African elephant. The African elephants are the largest large animals on earth. They are slightly larger than their Asian cousins and can be identified by larger ears that look somewhat like the continent of Africa. Their habitat ranges from sea level to 16,000 feet and they are considered the largest land animal. They inhabit the savanna, forest, river valleys, and semi-desert regions of Africa south of the Sahara Desert. But besides its uh, greater size, it differs from the Asian elephant in having larger ears and tusks, a sloping forehead and two fingers at the tip of its trunk, compared to only one in the Asian species. African elephants are the species of elephants in the genus Loxodonta, one of the two existing genera in Elephantidae. Although it is commonly believed that the uh, genus was named by George Cavier in 1825, Cavier spelled it Loxodonte. An anonymous uh, author romanized the spelling to Loxodonta, and the ICZN recognizes this as the proper authority. Fossil members of Roxodonta have only been found in Africa, where they developed in the middle of Pliocene. Two subspecies are recognized, the savanna or bush elephant, Loxodonta africana africana, and the forest elephant, Loxodonta africana cyclotis. Savanna elephants are larger than forest elephants, and their tusks curve outwards, in addition to being smaller. Forest elephants are darker and their tusks are straighter and downward pointing. There are also differences in the size and shape of the skull and the skeleton between the two species. The African forest elephant has a longer and narrow mud bone, rounder ears and different number of toenails. Straighter and downward tusks and considerably smaller size. With regard to the number of toenails, the African bush elephant normally has four toenails on the front foot and three on the hind feet. The African forest elephant normally has five toenails on the front foot and four on the hind foot.
just like the Asian elephant, but hybrids between the two species commonly occur. Both male and female African elephants have tusks and they use uh, to dig for food and water and strip back uh, from trees. Males use the tusks to bat to one another, but the ivory has also attracted violence for a far more dangerous sort. Because ivory is so valuable to some humans, many elephants have been killed for their tasks. This trade is illegal, but it has not been completely eliminated, and some African elephant population remain endangered. Poaching significantly reduced the population of Luxudanta in certain regions during the 20th century. An example of this poaching pressure is in the eastern region of Chad. Elephant hearts there were substantial as recently as 1970, with an estimated population of 400,000. However, by 2006, the number had dwindled to about 10,000. The African elephant nominally has governmental protection, but poaching is still a serious issue. African elephants are capable of making a wide variety of vocal sounds, such as grunts, pows, bellows whistles and the obvious trumpeting. An elephant and people have always had an interesting relationship. In the savannah subspecies, each family unit usually contains about 10 individuals, although several family units may join together to form a clan consisting of up to 70 members led by a female. They have a matriarchal organization. Forest elephants on the other hand, live in smaller family units. These hungry animals do not sleep much, and they roam over great distances while foraging for the large quantities of grass that they require to sustain their massive bodies. Despite their weight, which in African elephant reaches up to about 15,400 pounds, an Indian elephant reaches 11,000 pounds. An elephant walk almost noiselessly and with exceptional grace, their columnar legs keeping their bulk moving forward in smooth rhythmic strides. A thick cushion of resilient tissue grows at the base of the foot, absorbing the shock of the weight and enabling the animal to walk high on its hoof-like toes. Elephants normally walk about 4 miles per hour and can charge at up to about 25 miles per hour. And welcome to Africa in the great sites of African elephants.